this um, is a Johnson 90 horsepower. I have it on my uh, picnic table. And uh, this tilt rod here is totally rusted, as you can see. Uh, I can't even put the uh, control cable or control rod through here, okay? Um, because it's so rusted and, and everything. Anyway, so um, here is how I did it, okay? This is a lawnmower uh, rod, support rod. So I just, you know, um, eventually just, you know, do it one at a time and put PB blaster in there. And I use this uh, big screwdrivers that I uh, wasn't, you know, using much. And this is how I was able to um, eventually poke through this tilting rod. So I don't have to replace this. I just have to connect this with my um, control cable. And that's it, you know. So it's pretty cool. Uh, now I got, um, I'm just waiting to mount this uh, engine onto the back of my boat, you know. So you can see. You can see all the rust coming out of uh, the bottom here. You see? See? All the way through now. This is a um, steel rod you can purchase from Home Depot, half an inch. Half an inch. You know, so um, do it like this. It's going to get rid of all the uh, rust inside of here. Um, and now I can, uh, put my, uh, thing through this, you know, so, which is pretty good. This is pretty good. You can see all the rust uh, and the dust or whatever down there. It's pretty nasty, you know, but anyway, this is how you do it. All right, so now I have a, uh, I have a workable tilting rod that I can put my control cable through and I can still steer this mo uh, motor and here is the the uh, the other thing the other side I, uh, I can control all right so it's pretty cool pretty cool Not sure why this is not straight. Meaning this thing should just uh, maybe my uh, steel rod is not straight. Maybe that's why. Yeah, maybe this steel rod is not straight. It bent a little bit because I was uh, trying to uh, um, open this up. 